This is the proposed collection map for Project 4 by Jen Rausch, Library 266, Summer 2014. This infographic covers the goals of the library, where we are now and where we would like to be. It walks you through our current budget and our current collections shows you a plan for the future and then shows you where we would like to be by 2016-2017. So I'm going to go into presentation mode to show you all of these aspects up close. So this is the Crystal Middle School Library proposed collection map, the path for the future. Crystal Library goals is to increase technology and nonfiction materials in order to support Common Core standards and student needs. There are two separate charts here showing both the general collection and the special topics in biographies where we are now at the beginning of last school year at 2013 and where we would like to be by 2017. For the general collection, this past year we were about 40% fiction, 50% nonfiction, and that was in hard copies of books, and then about 10% of our books were ebooks. And our databases, our online multimedia was 0%. And the quality of our books was about at two stars. Where we'd like to be by 2017 is to have hard copy fiction at 35%, so a decrease decrease hard copy nonfiction to 40%, increase the ebooks from 10% to 20%, and then have at least 5% um, in databases, possibly more depending on the types of free online sources we could find. And that would bring the quality of our library up to four stars. The special topic focus of biographies, currently the celebrity biography section we only have 30 books the president biographies we have 70 books and the artist biographies we have 66 books and this is compared to the 873 other biographies that we have and these are the three most popular topics that are chosen by students for research so what we would like to do is take that one star of quality that we were currently at and by 2017 we want to increase the hard copies of biographies in um, celebrities to 60 books increase the president biographies to 140 books and increase the artist biographies to 135 books. And actually with weeding and taking out the outdated books we'd like to decrease the other biographies down to about 600. And adding in their online databases and ebooks and free online sources that are credible for research, we're hoping to bring the quality up to three stars. The current library budget for this past school year was $7,000 from site funding. We spent about 45% of that or $3,150 on fiction books, hard copies. $2,800 on nonfiction books, and about $1,000 on ebooks, which were a collection of both fiction and nonfiction. And we had 36 Chromebooks that were purchased for use in the library with site funding for technology. So the current status of the library is that we're about 40% hard copy fiction, 50% hard copy nonfiction, and ebooks are about 10%. That gives our fiction three stars, our nonfiction three stars for quality and quantity. Our ebooks only get one star. And the goal here is to increase the ebooks and increase the technology in our library. Um, the 2013 to 2014 nonfiction topics, um, these are the, the most popular out of all of the nonfictions. Um, you can see the natural sciences and math is very popular. Geography and history is very popular. Um, biographies made up about 15% of the books, uh, but we did some heavy weeding in the spring right before the end of the school year, so it's now maybe down to 10%. 
And the goal here is to increase the quality of biographies, to update the biography books, and provide online biography sources. The 2013-2014 special collection focus on biographies. So we have 1,045 hard copies of biographies. And this only gets two stars. The quality is not great. Um, a lot of the books are outdated. There are only four ebooks that gets zero stars. And there are zero online or multimedia sources incorporated into our catalog. The goal here is to increase the celebrity, president, and artist biographies and increase the online materials. The plan for the next two school years is to receive about $7,500 in library funding. $7,000 of that will come from site funding and $500 through a grant that I'm going to apply for through our local county office of ed. Um, they give out several $500 scholarships for curriculum purposes. So the goal would be to spend $1,400 for ebooks, hoping to increase that quality up to two stars. $2,500 for fiction titles, focusing on award winners, student request, and new titles. $2,500 for nonfiction titles, once again focusing on student and teacher requests or areas that we are in need. And then $1,100 specifically for biography books, both ebook and hard copy, to hope to increase that section to two stars. Uh, I'm also going to request a TV and Apple TV hardware for the library and request continued funding for easybib.com from the district, which is about $700. Uh, we also, I'm planning to weed the collection of any old and outdated materials and to add free online sources to a Google Doc or perhaps into our catalog system so that staff and students have access for research. The 2015-2016 library plan stays pretty much the same. Um, counting on that grant again, so the $7,500 total. Um, once again, increasing the ebook collection, hoping to bring it up to three stars. Spending the same amount of money on fiction and nonfiction titles once again. And then focusing $1,100 on biography texts. But this time, um, focusing specifically on ebooks and then a database subscription to try to get that biography area up to three stars. Um, all other areas remain the same. Request continued funding for EasyBib, continue weeding the collection, and to continue to add those free online sources either to a Google Doc or to the online catalog. The hope is that by the 2016-2017 school year, our goals will be met. And that would be to change the dynamic of the library to be about 35% fiction hard copy titles, 40% nonfiction hard copy titles, and that 25% of our titles in our catalog will be in the ebook format and or available through a database. That brings fiction and ebook database multimedia both up to three stars in quality and our nonfiction up to four stars in quality. The goal for the nonfiction topics is that the distribution should stay about the same, but the titles and the copies should be updated and reflect student interest and also reflect an increase in ebooks. The special collection of biographies, the hope is to actually decrease our hard copies down to 900 total, so three stars in quality, increase to have at least 100 ebooks available for students for three stars in quality, and then to increase those free online multimedia sources or those paid databases for three stars of quality. Our budget would remain the same for the 2016-2017 school year, barring any major increase or decrease in enrollment. Um, still going to keep, continue applying for those grants. So, um, but the budget gets distributed a little bit differently now that we've increased the biography section. So we'd be spending 2,500 on fiction, 2,500 on nonfiction, and 2,500 on databases and eBooks. So essentially a third of the money would be going to online databases and eBook collections. 
uh, of course continue funding for easybib.com and then just continue to update the online resources and make sure that all of the links are working and get feedback from the students to make sure that that is what they are using for research. The final 2016-2017 library budget looks the same. Um, the 7,000 site funding, 500 grant funding. This is just another view um, to compare to the original graphic at the top to show how much more money is going to be allocated towards ebooks and databases than we had in the 2013-2014 school year. And when you look back up again at the one at the top, you can see originally um, it was about 15% of our budget was being spent on that and we are upping that to 33 percent.